out of this body. Every one of you will be cast out. Now, you're just the messenger. So you're the one who speaks on behalf of the others. Who is the one that speaks on behalf of the others? What's that? You won't get him? You don't want him to live for Jesus? You don't want him to live for Jesus? So the three of you, you have one assignment. is to destroy his life. Is your assignment to destroy him? What have you done to his life so far? What your God has done to his life. What my God has done to his life? Nothing. What's that? That guy. Who? Who's that? You humans pray to a man who never answers. What's that again? Say that again. You what? Humans. Humans what? Pray. To who? A God. Man. Whatever you call it. That never answers. That never answers. He yet he sends rain upon us. Yet he gives us the sun every day and the breeze to, and air to breathe. Yet he provides bread for his own. He never forsakes his own. Is that not answered prayer? Now you have a master who don't care about you. Yeah, you blame my master for your sin. The Bible says that when somebody sin, they are drawn away with their own lust and entice. But he is the one that tempts people. Your master. So why are you so afraid of my God? Why are you so afraid of my God? Why are, why are you so afraid of Jehovah? Elohim. Why are you afraid of him? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Jacob. Why are you so afraid of him? Why do you lie? Because your father, your master is a liar. Lie. Your master is a liar. He's a liar and a murderer. And the Bible says that he was so from the beginning. And he's the father of all liars. And who might my master be? You know who your master is. Lucifer. Now listen to me carefully. What is your assignment against this young man? Just a messenger, as I said. You're just a messenger. Yes. So you're just possessing his body as a messenger? Possess no. I have control over this. No, I don't. They. They. Who they? Who are they? Those are not to decide. Who are they? We've watched you for a long time. It won't work. You've watched me? What do you mean you watch me? She always mentioned him. He will do this. You've been watching the ministry? The last time we visited you. Mm -hmm. You hide. <laughs> I wasn't hiding. You were right there. Didn't see. Hmm. Now listen to me carefully. I'm all ears. Where are the others? Let them come up. No, no, no. That's not how it works. Let them come up. You are the one who speaks. Let the others come up and identify themselves. Now, t now, now the, the, the altar that you operate under in Antigua, who set up this altar? Who set it up? Who set up the altar in Antigua? Who set up the altar in Antigua? Who set it up? What about these businesses that are prospering there? That are using witchcraft to prosper? That are using demons to prosper? I'm going to Antigua to crush every one of them. Are you sure you want to do that? Man? What's that? Lord, I thank you for your heavenly host. 
of angels. I thank you that your angels will go forth with their swords drawn to the nation of Antigua. And anyone that is operating a business that is using witchcraft, I pray that your angels will smite every devil, every strong man that has been placed on the premises of these businesses, that these businesses will crumble. In 2023, these businesses will crumble in the name of Jesus. And God's people will see the victory. Now, you have an assignment not only against him, but your assignment is against his family as well because you wanted to destroy him, but you figure out that you want to get into his family as well. What have you done to him and his family so far? To him? My family? What have you done to him? I'm not the enemy here. No. What have you done to him? That's the question I ask. What have you done to him? So you're watching you're watching you don't want him to get married you're taking his finances away from him and causing pain in his body you're using portals to mess with his relationship now every one of you will be cast out to the pits of hell today and you will no longer, I'm going to shut down, I'm going to shut down your portals of operation. I'm going to shut down your portals of operation that you have been operating within him and within his family. I'm going to shut them down. And you will no longer be able to operate within his life. I'm going to play a game with you, my friend. You're going to what? I'm going to play a game with you. You're going to play a game with me? Yes. I'm not in for games with demons. Not demon, demon. Demon. Demons. Demons. I operate alone. Right. You operate alone. But yes. The game is this. Like she said, marriage is the key. For him and her will be in front of it. Exchanging vows. Practically signing a contract with him. How many contracts have you signed against his will with his name in the realms of the spirit? Hmm. One too many. One too many. With his name on it. Where's, where, where's his image? Where's his image for, for, for evil? Where's his image buried? You see what demons do? They look for legal rights over the individual. Now, demons know that marriage is a contract. You notice what it just said? It's a contract that's signed. It's not just, that's what people think that marriage is just a contract between the two persons, but it's between God as well. So there's a contract that is going to be signed and these devils don't want. This is why the devil keep destroying marriages. This is why Satan keep attacking marriages over and over and over. And this devil knows. Bingo. <laughs> knows. That's why I'm going to talk about relationship. I'm going to have, have relationship talk on Friday. God's willing. I'm going to educate these people on relationships. So that they will know. And marriages. Because all you hate marriage. Satan hates marriage. Because marriage is a union such like the Holy Spirit, the, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Why do you hate marriage so much? Me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't hate marriage. You hate love. You, see, you hate to see people in love. You young people. What's that? You 
rush into marriage. You cannot keep up your end of the bargain. Mm -hmm. What do you think he does? He attacks your weak spot. You lust. Mm -hmm. You look for more. Mm -hmm. He gives you more. So that's what Satan does. You, you hear what the demon is saying? The devil looks for your weak spot within marriage and he attacks you based on your weak spot within marriage. We're going to deal with all of this relationship talk on Friday. I'm telling you, we're going to crush the plans. We're going to crush your plans. All your plans will be destroyed. Now, now you're going to crush it, but to the young folks going to be listening to you and preventing all this from happening. So that's the big question. So I'm going to crush it, but you ask any question if young people will be listening. Yes. And that's the problem is that the word will go out and many won't listen. And that's how that's the advantage that you 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 demons take. No, 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 no. Not you, but the others. Okay. Well, your assignment is over. And I no longer want to have a conversation with you anymore. Where are the other demons? Demon. Singular. Okay. Singular. So the three of you operate as one. See these stubborn demons living inside it. And this is what happens sometimes. A lot of these, and they hide. They know how to hide within these people's bodies. They know how to hide. You know, you know how long you had to pray to, for this one to manifest? And just because the fire, I saw the fire in the realms of the spirit burning from his head straight down to his feet. And as I begin to pray in tongues, the fire began to intensify over his body and over the devils. That's why it manifested, you know. And many a time, sometimes we're doing deliverance and persons come the first time and they get prayed for and nothing happened and they think everything is okay. But they know they're going through something and they don't come back again. And sometimes it takes more and more intense prayer. And sometimes when you have, that's why you have to have too much people sometimes, it takes away from the other persons getting their deliverance. But this devil knows that without intense prayer, some of them don't manifest. Sometimes you have to pray for some demons to manifest 15 minutes, sometimes before some of them manifest. And they know. Now let's deal with this deliverance now. And cast this one out in the name of Jesus.